Hey everybody, here's a solution to uh, 8.9.18 from Collaborative Statistics. Um, this involves people over the age of 50 dying, uh, well it studied death of members of the 50 Plus Fitness Association. Uh, and it said Stanford conducted a study of whether running is healthy for men and women over age 50. Okay, so what they asked us to do was they asked us to, um, let's see, they studied in the first eight years 1.5% of the 451 members of the 50 plus fitness association died. Uh, we are interested in the proportion of people over 50 who ran and died in the same eight year period. We'll come back to that. Uh, define the random variables X, and they call it P, um, P apostrophe, it's P hat, it's a sample proportion. Okay, so X is binomial. Okay, you have 50, 451 people, and there's a certain number of them that are going to die over the eight year period. The least number is going to be zero, the maximum will be all 451. So either they died or they didn't. So there's your random variable values, and the random variable itself is the number of people that died in the eight year period. There you go. Uh, P hat, P hat would be the sample proportion of, of those that died, which was given to you, 1.5%, 1.5%. Which distribution should you use for the problem? Well, I just mentioned the binomial, although we tend, when we use the one prop Z int command, we are actually using the normal with the binomial. You think binomial. I want you to think discrete, binomial, one prop Z. Uh, construct a 97% confidence interval. Actually, I constructed a 95% confidence interval. I apologize. Let me rerun it really quickly and see what the differences are. I would imagine it's not much. Sure isn't. So a 97, a 95% confidence interval goes between 0 and 2.5%. 97 goes between essentially 0 and 2.8%. So it doesn't matter to me what you use. I'm going to always ask you to do 95% confidence intervals. State the interval, boom. Sketch the graph, boom. Calculate the error bound. The error bound is the margin of error around the estimate. Okay, it's the margin of error around the estimate. So the margin of error is going to be halfway between p hat and either endpoint. Okay, so you're looking at roughly a one and one quarter percent margin of error between p hat and the endpoints. If you want to get more exact, if you want to get more exact, just take the average of the endpoints and that'll tell you what the error bound is. Okay? No, excuse me, I'm wrong. If you take the average of the endpoints, you'll get p hat. Uh, the distance between p hat and either endpoint will give you the error bound. Um, last but not least, explain what a 97% confidence interval means. It's a great question. Explain what any confidence interval means. Here's what it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean, excuse me, 